Hey, let's talk a couple of minutes about uh, adding an extra service and keeping unity in the church. Just thought, got off the phone with a friend of mine, and they're adding a third service, uh, which is a cool thing. Church is growing. They're training guys as residents uh, who are getting ready to go out and plant churches. And so he told me, I'm handing the whole service over to my residents. They're doing everything, and that's also a very, very cool thing. But we started to address the issues of um, of unity in the church, and and so I asked him, "Are they preaching your sermon?" And he and he goes, "No, no, they're they're you know they're free to preach what they want." And I, I to me that's a red flag. I, I think that if you're going to do something like that, uh, you you need to have unity in the body. Whenever you go to multiple services, uh, the the people in the church ought to hear the same message uh, every week, whether they hear it from the same person or from different people. And so the way I would do this is is I was running a church for. A little while with a couple thousand people, and we had, uh, I think, eight guys on our preaching team. We'd do seven services a weekend with three preachers, and so I was the the, the principal guy because I was the old dude, and and uh, I would write the message. That would be the normal thing. Whoever was going to have the main services would write the message, and then they'd do that on Tuesdays by Tuesday afternoon or Wednesday morning. Go and share uh, the notes and and talk through the message with all the people on the preaching team. So eight guys are in this room and they're all younger than me, far younger than me because I hire young guys and and they would, you know, shoot holes in what I had to say and, and make it better. And then it would be my job or whoever was the lead preacher of that weekend if I was out of town or handing it off, whatever. It would be that person's job to go back then and um, and rewrite the notes and then publish it by email to the preaching team. So eight people get the notes uh, there were a few people in the aud- audience who liked to have the notes ahead, so uh, we'd let them in on the finalized notes so they could take better notes in church or whatever. But um, everybody was free to preach their own way, their own style, um, their own jokes, their own illustrations. If if we chose a video to use, uh, when I was leading the church, you didn't have to use that video. If it didn't fit your personality or you had a better video, a lot of freedom there. But the thing that bound us all together is we were on the same subject and we we're in the same scripture. Uh, I tend to go chapter by chapter most of the time. And so uh, that was the deal there too. So just a little advice. If you think about starting another service or if you're trying to uh, disciple guys as pastors and preachers, uh, it's the, the, the final bit of wisdom here is if you're going to follow lead, you need to learn how to follow. And so requiring somebody to preach off of my notes or whoever's the leader's notes Uh, teaches them a little lesson in submission that's valuable down the road. Anyway, I hope this was useful to you. Take care.